things were already going pretty good. We already had the two cats and the one dog and we had talked about another dog perhaps. My massage therapist um, knows that I'm a huge cat person and she showed me a picture of him when I was seeing her for an appointment and I was in love with him right then and there. The medical foster contacted me the morning that he was being released and said, I can set you up a meet and greet if you want to go and meet him. And I said, yep, we'll be there. And uh, it was love at first sight. You know, as soon as they like let him out of the carrier, he came over and started snuggling up to me. And I was like, okay, well, <laughs> I guess we're probably <laughs> taking him home. I think he chose you. I think he knew that <laughs> yeah. you were the one that he needed to butter up. You know, you could tell that he just really needed some good love in his life because he had obviously had a pretty tough go to start. Well, the ears and the tail um, were lost to frostbite, that we know. His eye, we don't know if it was infection or illness or uh, an accident or maybe a fight with another cat, we really don't know. He was just like happy to be somewhere warm, I think. And eventually, um, you know, you, you got to see more of like who he truly was. He's, he absolutely loves food. <laughs> if, uh, if we were about to put out food in the morning, he's the first cat there. He's pretty curious and very brave. Nothing really phases him. Nothing. <laughs> it took him a little while to get used to life in a house. Like there's still things that baffle him, um, like a sink. That was a revelation to him. He loves to, when you put the tap on. He's super playful. I think the Humane Society stepping in when they did was really important because Klaus needed treatment right away and of course there was nobody else that was going to save him and get him the treatment that he needed. I think they caught him right when they needed to and I'm so grateful that they were able to save him because he's a very good boy. People should donate to the main site to help with animals like Klaus who otherwise wouldn't have a chance, wouldn't make it, wouldn't survive, wouldn't be able to be placed in a home. I think that the work that they do is incredible and we'll keep supporting them. Sometimes when people see a cat who looks a little bit differently or maybe has a disability, they may overlook them. I think that animals like Klaus should be given a chance and should not be passed over because they're wonderful. There's nothing really holding him back. He just wants to be around people and he's very happy so it's a very nice addition to our house for sure.